Little Trek, or as some commentators say, Little Trek, go into 2024 with huge ambitions following some big signings over the winter. Teo Gagan Hart from the Ineos Grenadiers and Jonathan Milan from Bahrain Victorious being the two highlights for me. They'll go to the tour with Teo and Pedersen as leaders. Teo targeting a top 10, top 5 at the tour and Pedersen stages and potentially a tilt at the green jersey. Giro will be Giulia Ciccone as their climber. Stages GC, who knows what they'll do with him. And sprints in the Chick Firmino jersey with Jonathan Milan, who of course won it last season with Bahrain. At the Vuelta, it looks like it would be for Mateus Skielmosser. In the classics, it's pretty simple. Mads Pedersen will lead the Cobble team and Skielmosser will lead the team at the Ardennes. My first rider to watch is an interesting rider. It's Thibaut Nace. And first off, I think it is a real shame that we're not going to get to see him dabble in the Cobble classics because I think that is where he will shine in the future. He's starting his season at the end of April at the Toro Romandy by the looks of it. As I said, a shame, but I expect some big things of him. He's a very talented, punchy sprinter. He can get over some climbs and he can sprint well as well. Romandy and Suisse look like his first two sort of big races. Let's see what he can do in the World Tour. Uh, Theo Gegenhart is a new signing, obviously, and he comes with big aims. He would have won the Giro, or certainly podium the Giro for me last year against Remco and Roglic. This year, top five at the Tour, is it an option? And for me, the final rider to watch is the sprinter Jonathan Milan. Sounds as though he wants to dabble in a bit of the classics as well, but I think sprinting in the Grand Tours is where he is best. He won a stage in the Chick Flamino last year. Can he better that in 24? Prediction time for Little Trek, and I think we can expect a little bit of teething problems as these new big riders gel into the team, but I also expect them to win pretty big. They've got the riders to do so. I think at the Tour, Teo will get into the top 10, and Pedersen will win a stage. I don't see him competing with Philipson to win the green jersey, however, he's just too good at sprinting. The Giro, I don't see Ciccone getting anywhere in GC, but as he always does, he will win stages and he will win the climbers jersey. Jonathan Milan, I think, will repeat the points classification and he'll win a stage or two at the same time. Pedersen and Scalemaster will podium at some classics. I don't see them being able to compete with Van der Poel or Van Aert or Pogacar and Remco respectively, but they're podium. And with a bit of luck, you never know, especially at a race like Rubé with Pedersen. And my final prediction is that Thibaut Nace will win at the World Tour. I'm going to go for a stage win at the Tour of Switzerland for him.